Good morning friends, this is David from TubeoBiz. I'd like to welcome you back to our channel and as I had promised in a recent video that I'm going to take my own blood sugar so that you can see what is my blood sugar when I drink sugar cane juice. So what I'm going to take now is my fasting blood sugar. I've not eaten anything for 12 hours. It's in the morning here and then I will take my blood sugar level then I'll drink a glass of sugarcane juice and then let's see what sugarcane juice does to my blood sugar level stay tuned now of course the hardest part of this test that's pricking your fingers so they have these things called lancets that you do and you should do it on the side of your finger like this and then there's it's like a pen you have to press it down that will charge the lancet and then here there is a little button you push and you just uh, will prick your finger for a second with it you click that okay not too much pain and then as you can see there's blood that's uh, coming out so what you do next is they have what is called test strips and these test strips will be put inside the AccuCheck machine this is made by Roche the company Roche and you can see that the numbers start showing okay and now it indicates to me it's time to put the blood on there's a little blood indicator there so I have to squeeze this a little bit and then I will put my blood right in the center of the green and now it's reading this is reading my blood sugar and my blood sugar is 81 81 is my fasting blood sugar so that uh, shows I'm not a diabetic person. I don't have hypoglycemia. This shows that my blood sugar is a normal, normal level uh, and quite desirable actually. Now the interesting thing about me friends is that I drink two liters of sugarcane juice a day. And so there's people all around the world that are, you know, running around saying sugarcane juice is causing diabetes is really bad. It's, you know, it's completely false. Natural occurring sugars are the most healthy sugars that you can ingest. And any of you that are watching this video, check back at a couple of videos we had before. And we had a type 2 diabetic and she tested her blood sugar. And then she drank sugar cane juice and then she tested it again. And her blood sugar level was also normal. So Friends, while I'm not saying for every diabetic to go out and just start drinking sugarcane juice, you need to be careful. You have to be careful because every, every patient and every condition is not the same. But what I am saying is that many people, including many doctors, say that sugarcane juice in moderation is healthy for diabetic people and also to help to prevent diabetes because unlike sucrose in white processed sugar, sugarcane juice does not spike your blood sugar when you drink it. You, it's not like a chocolate bar, you get this rush of energy or you're drinking a Coke. In fact, in this video, what I'm going to do is tomorrow I will do my fasting blood sugar again and then first thing in the morning, I have to apologize to my body, but I'm going to drink a Coke and show you guys the difference in the score of the blood sugar Coke versus the um, the sugar cane. Hey friends, I have my sugar cane juice here, and I am gonna be drinking this uh, straight up. I'll drink it uh, just straight down. I I am so fortunate to have this business and be able to drink this every day. I drink about two liters of sugar cane juice a day. I don't drink it all at once. You know, I drink it. You know, some with breakfast, some at snack time, at lunch, in the afternoon, and uh, before I go to bed. But usually it equals uh, one, one and a half to two liters. So anyways, bottoms up on this and uh, we'll do the test. The 15 minutes after I drink this, we'll do my blood sugar test. So I do have a uh, lemon in here, okay, or lime, excuse me, that's lime, the green in there. That helps balance out the sweetness and uh, just makes it taste great. It's a very popular, you know, the probably the most, one of the most popular combinations is with lime. So let me drink this up. Wow. 
Well, that is good. I was fasting for about 14 hours before I took my blood sugar, which was just 81. And so uh, getting this in my system just feels great and is great. It's morning time here. Uh, I'm in the Philippines at the moment, and uh, this uh, sugarcane is organic sugarcane that we grow in our own fields about 15 minutes from here, and it was just harvested uh, yesterday afternoon. So fresh, fresh, fresh. Ah, love it. Okay, this is a uh, large, this is a 16, or actually it's 18 ounce glass. With the amount of ice that was in it, we could say that I had probably around 13 ounces of sugarcane juice, to, if you want to be fair. I had no less than 12. So 12 or 13 ounces is what I am consuming, and we can base the test off of that. So let's see what is my score in about uh, 12 minutes from now and see uh, what my blood sugar level is. How am I feeling right now? I feel great. I don't feel a sugar high like, you know, I just slammed down a Coke or a uh, one of those energy drinks. Um, I feel full and I feel uh, good. Just feel great, you know. I feel lucky actually. So just a few minutes I'll give you the uh, the score of David's uh, sugar cane juice blood sugar level. Hey friends, this is David again. It is now 15 minutes after I have uh, drank the sugar cane juice and uh, the time here it is 10 10.02 in the morning and uh, so I'm gonna prick my finger again and we will see what is my blood sugar level 15 minutes after consuming approximately 13 ounces of pure organic sugarcane juice. Here's the test kit and the test strip. Okay, it's a brand new one. You can see there's no blood on it. And this is the the tester, okay? So, what I have to do now is I have to prick my finger again. Okay, here's my, my finger. I'm gonna prick it. It doesn't hurt, by the way. Any of you that are going to buy your own kits, um, the the needle is so very small, you know. So uh, here's the blood coming out. All right, you should try to squeeze it to get a good a good drop, you know, because you want to have a good fair drop on your um, on your test uh, strip. So that should be uh, that should be enough blood there. For those of you that are sensitive to these things, I apologize. I know not everybody can look at blood easily. So I put the strip in there and now I'm gonna put my blood on the green part. Okay, now it's reading. Okay, my blood sugar after drinking 13 ounces of sugar cane juice is 91. Uh, is that 90, uh, 97? It's 97, 15 minutes after drinking 13 ounces of sugar cane juice. Okay, so you can see that it didn't significantly change my blood sugar level at all. And uh, so this is, this is so very important, friends, is that, you know, the myth that sugar cane juice causes diabetes or is like, you know, worse than people, some people think that sugarcane juice is like more harmful than Coke or, you know, things that have 25 tablespoons of white sugar in them. The truth is sugarcane juice comes from a grass. It's a naturally occurring sugar and it is safe. Not only is it safe for our body, on a biological level, our bodies love it. You know, it is like, this is what we were created for. The cells of our bodies were created for natural things to be given to us. And we were not created for unnatural and processed things. And you know, in the beginning of time when man was, you know, living in caves and everything, they did not have food processing back then, you know. And we were not created for, you know, we weren't created for processed foods and especially processed sugar. And right now, sugar is getting a lot of bad raps, lots of bad raps 
because people are saying that sugar is the culprit of all diseases. Well, they're forgetting to tell you that it's added sugars that are the culprit of many diseases, but naturally occurring sugars. And in moderation, they are the safest and healthiest kind of sweet you can consume. Hey friends, good morning. This is David. This is day two. Today, I will take my uh, fasting blood sugar again this morning. I have fasted for approximately uh, 12 hours. And then uh, we'll take my blood sugar and here's my son, Jared. Jared, come over here. Say hi to all the people. Hi. <laughs> Okay. This is a new, this is a new peeler. That's a sugar cane peeler. Yes. Boy, he's very handsome, isn't and he? And it's color blue. Yep. It's a nice one. So today uh, I'm going to get my fasting blood sugar and then uh, going to uh, be uh, drinking Coke. First thing, I'm going to drink Coke, take my blood sugar 15 minutes after, and then let's compare the uh, blood sugar of when I drank sugarcane juice yesterday, which was a score of 97, to what it will be after I drink the equal amount of Coke this morning. So stay tuned, coming up soon. Okay, friends, I'm going to take this lancet and prick my finger and get the blood to come out. Then we will put it on this test strip in our AccuCheck made by Roche company and we will check my fasting blood sugar today compared to yesterday. Yesterday I believe the fasting blood sugar was 81 so we'll see what it is today. Last night I had oatmeal and I had some uh, for dinner about a little more than 12 hours ago I had oatmeal and um, like uh, Insure, it's one of those milk drinks so Okay, let's prick my finger here. Hopefully I won't say, ouch. All right, I felt something, but they say it's almost painless. So there's the blood coming out. Not that much. I need actually a lot more. Let me squeeze it there. Okay, there we go. Got a good amount of blood. Now, if you're new to these kits, you just have to put this inside. This will turn on the kit okay you see the numbers Look, are Jessica. on this means it's on okay and then what you do is you put your blood on the green part okay so you let the drip on the green part and then the kit will measure your blood sugar it takes a few seconds so my blood sugar is 85 this morning yeah 85 so yesterday it was 81 it's probably because I had the oatmeal last night so uh, anyways that's not too high that's well within normal range it certainly shows that uh, I'm not a high hypoglycemic or high blood sugar person so I'm gonna drink uh, a bottle of coke uh, about 12 ounces or so and then uh, we will see uh, what is my blood sugar and uh, just to recap yesterday I took my blood sugar, uh, fasting blood sugar was 81. I drank the sugar cane juice and my blood sugar level was 97. So now I'll drink the Coke and then um, I will see, uh, or we will see what is the uh, difference on the blood sugar level between sugar cane juice and Coke. And this is very important information for people in the world to know because there's so many misconceptions when it comes to sugar cane. There's so many misconceptions because, you know, people, they hear the word sugar, but it's not the same kind of sugar that they put in Coke and soft drinks. So let's see the difference, friends. One moment, please. Let me go buy the Coke. Okay, friends, welcome back. I've got my Coke here. I went and bought the Coke and I poured a glass of coke it's equal to the amount of sugar cane juice that i had yesterday including the ice i have some lemon in there it gives it give it some flavor i think uh, we're looking at about 13 ounces uh, of coke in here 13 to 14 ounces of coke 
So yesterday uh, we're looking at 13 to 14 ounces of sugarcane juice. And uh, so let's see here what my blood sugar will be 15 minutes after I consume this Coke. What do you think, Jared? Do you think my blood sugar will be higher after the Coke or lower? Uh, higher. Higher. Okay, why do you think it's going to be higher? I don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's a very honest answer. It has to do with something called sugar and the kind of sugar. The kind of sugar that is in this and the kind of sugar that is in the sugar cane it's not the same sugar, but you know what's amazing? It all comes from the sugar cane, but then there's what's called a process done to it, and it changes it. When they make the sugar for this, they actually cook all the nutrients, all the good stuff, they cook out of it, they boil it, and all the vitamins and minerals and live enzymes die. But they, what's remaining is what is called sucrose, high sucrose, and they put it in this, and then when we drink this kind of thing which i'm going to do now i'm going to i'm going to down this it's really hard to do you know it's easy to down straight uh, a glass of sugarcane juice but it's hard to drink a full glass of coke so i'm going to down this and then 15 minutes later we'll take my blood sugar so here goes this is breakfast use the straw I think. use the straw okay i'll use the straw <laughs> Thank you. You want me to use this straw? Okay. It's easy. Uh, well, I'm glad I put the limes in it. <clears throat> Here it goes. Got it. You got to go to school now. Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs> All right. Morning time around here, rush hour. Uh, this was a 1.5 liter bottle, so you can see how much I've consumed. And that's, that's equal, it's about 12, uh, 13, my guess is 13 ounces that I have in here, so. Okay, empty. Uh, all right, we'll update in uh, 15 minutes uh, how I feel and then we'll take my blood sugar and we'll see uh, how it compares to my blood sugar 15 minutes after the equal amount of sugar cane juice. So stand by, we'll be right back. All right, friends, welcome back. It's time to test my blood sugar. I have drank the coke approximately 13 ounces is what i estimate that i drank and i have emptied the cup here and so i'm going to test my blood sugar uh this is 15 minutes after uh we made the initial uh, video uh maybe 16 minutes now then um just you might want to know like how am i feeling all of you definitely have uh drink coke and uh maybe some of you have drank too much of it before, you know. I was fasting all night, took my blood sugar. It was 85 this morning. And then uh, now uh, I just drank Coke basically for breakfast. So we're going to see how things go. Um, you know, I feel typical like some when you drink a Coke, you know, more energized. Uh, I feel um, a little bit shaky, you know. Um, but, you know, I can't say that I feel really sick or anything. I'm, you know, like, uh, like all of us, I grew up drinking uh, lots of it. And so, uh, but the very interesting thing that we want to show here is what is the effect, the difference between uh, soft drinks and uh, sugar cane sugar on our blood sugar level. So I have my brand new test strip here. I have my AccuCheck, which is made by Roche. It's a very good uh, blood sugar monitor. And so I will lance my finger, or that means poke a hole in my finger here. And then uh, we will find out what is my blood sugar level now. Uh, it's approximately 17 minutes after I drank the Coke. So I'm going to lance my finger. Many of you are wondering, 
does this hurt? They make, they use a really small needle on this, so it's not that bad, you know. It's a, ah! <laughs> not bad, guys. So once you lend your finger, you know, you want to squeeze it to get that, that drop of blood uh, going there because you have to have a good drop. All right, there's my, my blood. I hope it's a good color for you. So now what you do is you put this, this one has arrows, okay? So you put the arrows in in the monitor, okay? And that will automatically turn it on. And you see, you see the numbers there. Now what you do is you take your blood and you drop it on the, the strip, the green strip. Put the blood on there. Okay, now it's measuring the blood sugar and it should show up in a few minutes here. All right, so my blood, wow! 150, or 127, I'm reading it backwards through the, the camera here. 127, okay. That's my blood sugar and I started at 85 this morning. So we'll compare that to the blood sugar of drinking the same amount of sugar cane juice after uh, fasting. So stay tuned. <laughs> uh, so many people have wanted me to make this video, you know, and so it's pretty, it's, it's cool, a good chance to make this video. And uh, it's really, uh, it's not a clinical trial by any means, but it does give a good indication on the effect in the short term of the different the sugar in sugar cane juice and the sugar in soft drinks and uh, this has a lot to do with uh, our you know the way that our bodies run you know if we if our sugar levels are going up and down and spiking and going too high too fast then it affects everything from our mood level to our immune systems, to all kinds of things. So what we want to show in this video is the difference between sugar cane juice, natural occurring sugar, and sugar that is processed that is in soft drinks. And so we'll leave the clinical studies to the clinical people, but hopefully when they see this video here, they will uh, want to do the clinical trials, which I heard cost around $125,000 and we can't afford that. So hopefully uh, a clinical study will be done on this and the results will be put out in the public on the worldwide news so everybody can see the truth, the difference between natural occurring sugars effect on the body, on the blood sugar and uh, processed sugars. So friends, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel and you find this content interesting, hit that subscribe button. We're uploading everything about sugar cane every week. And we have a, a big variety of things on this channel from machine reviews to health issues to uh, even some funny things. Uh, last week we crushed a cell phone in one of our machines. So stay tuned here at TubalBiz and we want to thank you for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you in our next video.